um, Frozen yeah. Soldier, and this here is my science fair project. It's all about the theme parks and people created. It all started by a concept created by a guy called Fa called Billy Pascal. He uh, didn't live to be all that old, but. He created quite a couple of cool things, including Pascal's Triangle. This proves that there are more ways to get to the center than over to the sides. For instance, there's only one way that you can actually get over here, but there's all these different ways for you to get to here. Um, Francis Galton, an Englishman, philosopher, and explorer, and someone obsessed with humanity, a genius. He thought of a concept called the Frinkunks. You see, when he brought them down, he noticed that there would be more marbles going down to the center than over to the side. The hypothesis is that the Frinkunks I created just over here should generate a bell curve. Um, so let's check it out. What I'm about to do is I'm about to pour marbles, as you can see here, into the coin tanks, down through these, into these little sections here, see if it makes a bell curve, and then, it doesn't matter what it makes, take it out. I'm going to take a single marble and drop it through the quincunx. Once it goes into the quincunx, it's completely random. As you can see, it's, uh, it's not really countable, but this is a very interesting thing because it's landed in the center. You see, what are the chances that it's going to keep going over here? Well, right? What are the chances that it's going to go all over the place? And land in here, 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 here. And higher than these. this Queen Kong's test 20 times and graphed it, as you can see just down here, to see if it would recreate um, what we have hypothesized here. Right, and what did your results show when you averaged them? Um, it showed up as this over here. We have the results of Pascal's triangle and what we hypothesized with the colors. Um, but as you can see, the marbles represented the average of our, our experimental results. So, uh, what we got was a much flatter bell curve. So, uh, we've generated a slight bell curve here, but, um, we had, but we ran into a couple of problems on the way. Uh, you see, marbles were getting stuck over to the sides here and here, so we need to pull out the uh, we need to pull out the golf pegs mm -hmm. to let them move through. But now, anything that goes over to the side yep. is instantly going to fall in here because now there's a higher chance of things getting into the side than what might have happened before. So thanks for coming out to my uh, my science fair project.